There you go. So when I was looking at the emoji, it kind of looks like there's a shadow under the eyes to kind of show that the hearts are um, popping out. So I'm gonna put a little shading around the eye. And if you notice, um, I'm leaving like a little bit of a highlight in between this line of the heart emoji and where the shadow is, if you can see that. Um, and that is purposeful. That's not just like me saying, oh, I can't, I'm not gonna draw up and over the line. It's because sometimes when you look at um, things and the way light hits them, there is sometimes a little highlight right before you find the shadow. And it kind of emphasizes the fact that it is popping out. And like I said, take your time, build, build this up. It's not going to be perfect the first time. Um, you can always go back and add some more. And I know that when I watch y'all sometimes coloring things in, you can kind of see all your strokes, your pencil strokes. And that's because you're um, hitting it a little too hard and you're using that tip of the pencil. Instead, if you hold your pencil kind of at the end of the pencil and move it really lightly against the page and instead of using the tip like this, you hit the edge of the pencil, you kind of are able to blur the lines a little better as you build up that shadow. And it makes it a little bit easier to blend your colored pencils. And if you use crayon, you can use the same thing. So instead of using the tip of your crayon, you can use that side of your crayon. And it will be a little bit more difficult to control. However, with some practice, you won't be able to see the lines as much for crayon as either. We're going to go and darken the edge again on this side because he is a circle. You see how light that is? You can always build it up. different colors to shade them and make him look more 3D. Let's look back at our hard eye emoji. Personally, I like to use um, 
colors when I'm shading and I'll mix my colors together to create like a brown or a dark a darker color almost black kind of color and that is because when you use colors and you mix colors it gives it more of a rich shade than just using black because black sometimes tends to mute out your colors um, and but I really love gray because gray will won't mute it so much but it's a easy way to get a shade going. Same for brown. And always look back to your reference photos. But anyways, last but not least, that other shadow around the eye. Okay. And then, Miss Natasha, can I borrow some markers? Of course. And thank you, ma'am. And then last but not least, we'll see how this goes. Get your red marker for the heart eyes. Just color them all in.